everyone welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be about creating this your skin but better no makeup makeup look which i created using nude by nature products 100 natural products which i raved about in the last video um and this video is apparently apparently supposed to be made two weeks ago but i have been really unwell down with viral with the weather changing things are not great here um and everywhere else i assume i mean yeah so you can't do much you have to just rest give yourself some time to recover and that's what i did so even though i had been dying to make this video um and i actually started making this video last week but then i wasn't feeling great and then i had to stop in between and now i'm here again finally making this one and because i couldn't make video this video last time i'm gonna be making a bonus video so creating this natural look after that taking it to a night uh, makeup look see i can still not talk properly all right but i am super excited to be doing this look so it's you know it's not even makeup but your skin can still shine through and look like it's little something is done and you know your, your, your skin is looking more even toned um you can get that natural glow so that's what this look is all about no makeup makeup look or your skin but better whatever you want to call it so let's get started with this video and if you haven't watched the last video i will be linking it up here so go check that one out and let's get started um i'm not gonna take any more time talking about those products because if you watch that video you'll know how much i am in love with them even though i have been using a lot of the high-end products over the years and been crazy obsessed with them like you know dior chanel uh, nas mac bobby brown you name it i've tried all of them ysl Giorgio armani um they are fantastic but even though they're safe for our skin, they are really good, but they still have some ingredients in them which we ideally shouldn't be putting on our skin. Um, uh, some have got fragrance, some have got alcohol, and a lot of us have got uh, sensitive skin and it can be triggered, irritated with those products. So if you have ever experienced any itchy reactions or redness or eczema or stuff like that you never know you might be reacting to an ingredient in a very great product from an amazing brand you never know until you obviously find it out so i don't want to take that risk i mean i have already been using um, a lot of products and not that i've ever reacted yes sometimes some products have given me some sort of redness and made my skin itchy but overall i have had a great experience but considering the price of those pr uh, products is double more than double to what a lot of good natural products out there are and they don't come with the risk of putting toxins or chemicals on your face and you know you can because we are absorbing everything that has been put on our face um, especially with lipsticks um, you eat half of it so um, try and go for lead free lipsticks and a lot of products have got sulfates parabens which are definitely not our friend you can google them do your research and see what's out there and especially with natural products they are naturally derived i mean yes some of natural ingredients people can be allergic to i mean it's just like peanuts and gluten they can be allergies but the possibility of having that is very rare um, and compared to the other chemicals toxins that we are consuming which we don't need to and a fragrance alcohol for me alcohol is a big one um uh, it, it irritates my skin so even with the facial mist i try and go for alcohol free mists and even for my sanitizers i use alcohol free sanitizers um yeah so that is just me and even the entire um one of the products that i use in my house that have been replaced to natural products years ago and that's a conscious decision that i have made and i will continue making so that is enough about nude by nature um watch that video and let's start dive into this video which is creating this look 
and so if you have always wanted to do natural makeup look but you always end up with a lot of makeup on your face i have been there i've done that you know i've always aimed for doing natural makeup then i keep adding i don't know where to stop and less is more that's the key so i have done that and i've never been able to get that no makeup makeup look um so watch this video you will find out how i created this and you might get some ideas of the things you might have been doing wrong or you have not even tried so let's get started so the first step will be applying a primer normally i would do my eyes first if i'm doing a heavy or glam makeup just so there is no mess and it's easy to clean up if you haven't done your entire face and then you are doing your eyes especially with smoky dark colors so starting with the face because this is just a natural look and we can easily get away by doing face and then accordingly we can do the eyes because in natural looks sometimes your eyes can not look sort of incomplete if you or they can look um too glam so that's why i prefer doing my face first and going really minimal and then doing my eyes to see to just balance it out and rather than doing the other way around hope that makes sense so starting with the primer this is the airbrush mineral primer i will be applying that on my entire face you can just apply on the t-zone if that's the only concern i certainly do have oily t-zone but for the primer i prefer applying on my entire face as it does spread quite smoothly And now I will be applying the Sheer Glow BB Cream. This is just like a BB cream. It does not have too much color or in fact it doesn't even have like This one is a very very natural coverage, light I would say. So if you are somebody who enjoys full coverage makeup you might not like this but as i said for every day when i'm just stepping out of the house running errands or haven't got any big occasion i like to apply this because this is nice it just evens out the skin tone i would apply my sunscreen because this one has only spf 8 in it um you can apply your regular spf underneath which i already had on my face before starting um my makeup so underneath my primer i had my moisturizer and my spf um and because this is a very light coverage bb cream i am using just my hands um and i found that very easy and effective for obviously for the glam look you would get better results if you're using a beauty blender or the brush so don't forget your ears and your neck it's all blended in so for me i am pretty happy with this coverage i tend to get a little bit of redness but um this light coverage gives a very natural finish a little bit of dewy look and also evens out the complexion so this is enough for me i like to um, have my natural skin shining through but if you want you can build it up um and um you can also go in with some concealer but for the daytime look i don't like putting on concealer for glam look of course i do and i try and use one color lighter than my skin tone so that it just gives a brightening effect okay so yeah that's done now we can move on to the what is it blush so for me the quick makeup look when i have busy mornings or i don't necessarily want to load up my skin with too many products i would just use four or five products um primer i just wanted to try it out that's why i'm using it but honestly i would not use it on a daily basis i would just put this spf a little bit of lip or cheek tint balm 
but if you're talking about nude by nature they only have one blush which tend to work with most skin tones so it's called a virgin blush we're gonna try that one on and see what it looks on my skin uh, blush blush it's a powder so you have to be careful not to put too much on yes it does look very pinky but still gives a flushed look yeah i like that for a natural i like that for a natural look this is exactly what i would be wanting so blending that out on your temples this is what i like to do that's it and then moving on to the bronzer um you can use a shimmery one some people like that to avoid highlighter they can just put like a shimmery a sh some highlighting bronzer but i am not a fan of that so i prefer a matte one and they do have a matte bronzer the one that i have is in a palette and it does have highlighter and bronzer and also a setting powder i will show you that and we'll okay so here is the contour palette okay this dark these are the three colors that they have and we're gonna try the bronzing shade with a brush like this and just going underneath the blush and cross your forehead yeah it is a very natural bronzer and i think anybody who has got a darker skin tone than me might not be able to see this color and they do have a loose uh, powder as well the bronzer but i got the palette which already had the bronzer so i didn't had to get the loose powder but i'm pretty sure it will be the same shade you can still go and check it out but for me to get like a natural bronzed skin this one is gonna work anybody with skin tone lighter than me it's gonna work fantastic so now let's move to the other powder which is the contouring powder the darker one this one so this is the one i'm gonna try now this is for contouring so i like to either use like a proper contour brush which was this one but i will be saving this for more glam look for this i think same brush is gonna work fine i just pinch it and you can do that and then blend it out and then pinch this again and that's it go on your nose you can use a smaller brush for precision but with a very natural look i am not that concerned because it's all about blending it in and we're not putting too much product that we have to worry about it getting caked up or looking weird so that's all blended yeah i can see some effect considering how much product i've applied this is quite good now moving on to the lightest powder this we can use under the eyes so if um you would have put concealer i haven't applied concealer here but if you want to apply concealer you can set it with this powder and it's gonna be really good but i'm just gonna use this powder underneath my eyes with a setting brush and even without the cream powder underneath it should it should still do something so let's see And this color is definitely lighter than my skin tone so the lighter colors as i already mentioned help to highlight 
your under eye area some people like to go underneath here for baking you can apply a lot of powder they do have a baking powder a loose powder which you can apply when you are doing heavy foundation full glam look you can apply loose powder leave it on for like five ten minutes and then dust it off with some setting powder um yeah i'm just using that for mirror because their mirror is their palettes do have mirror but i tend to like round under the mirrors and they are flat yeah that's just my ocd okay so that is all set you can also use underneath the brow to give a highlighted look that is that now what else can we do highlighter let me show you the highlighter palette they have got three different shades which i really like and this should cater most of the skin tones Let's see oh, i'm gonna go with the bronzy one the one here the one at the the one at the very end i'm gonna try that one the champagne colors you can they look really good in inner corners or underneath your brow so let's do this bronzy color on the cheek and i like to keep use my brushes like i don't want to use one brush for one product so i'm going in with the same setting brush and i'll dip into the highlighter I'm gonna apply on my just above my cheek. See that this is really good. I like the highlighter. Yeah, quite nice. To me, they're gonna go and pinch it and apply here on your cupid's bow. <clears throat> Okay, don't be heavy handed with your highlighters. Okay, less is more when it comes to highlighters. Okay, I am pretty happy with my face. I'm gonna jump into the eye makeup. So starting with the primer, they have got this eye primer, which is perfecting eye primer. We're gonna apply that on the eyes first so that the eyeshadow can stay in place. For a long time we'll see how this goes so i've got that on my finger you can again use a brush or a beauty blender but i want to avoid any extra strip especially in the morning when i'm getting ready or um I'm in a hurry, which most of the times I am. So doing that and then going into their palette, you're going to set it with the lighter shade. For me, I will be using in this shade um, and setting it in. Where is the brush? All right. This, uh, this, primer feels very light that is one thing i'm noticing because i've used other eye primers and sometimes they are very very heavy or they don't spread very well and i'm not a fan of that feeling so setting that now going in with a brighter color something shimmery not too bright for the daytime but going in with a color like this one is going to be good for daytime or lighter pink and at night time you can go with any dark color that you want and let your eyes do the talking i'm gonna just go all over i'm not creating any uh, i'm not contouring my eye not creating any bold eye looks so i get this all over the lid kind of look should work for daytime yeah i'm not being very precise i'm 
things very easy with my hand just blending it out that's it done that's it easy so that was the eyeshadow quickest eyeshadow two look or uh, two eyeshadow colors and that's it I should probably see And by the way, I didn't show you the blush. This is the blush they have. See the color? It looks peachy, but on the skin it looks sort of mix of pink and peach, if you can see. Okay. Now setting all of this with, uh, what is it? You can either use their mineral powder or you can even use the loose finishing powder. You can use any of that, whichever you like. I would be saving the finishing powder for the foundation just so I have got an extra layer on top of my foundation like a powder to set it all in place and hope it doesn't make my skin oily um, yeah and let's see so now setting everything up with the mineral powder because as we don't have this primer what is this the BB cream doesn't have much color in it we can add mineral powder if you are wanting a little extra coverage but ideally that should have been done before applying your blush and contour but i'm pretty sure the powder like this it shouldn't affect anything else and if you are using just a little bit of it it shouldn't be an issue it's still gonna set everything up And I also feel that if you apply a powder after this, it just blends in everything very well. Yeah. It has definitely made my skin even and a little dewy. But of course, there is a huge makeup, makeup look or huge makeup. So I'll drop something results that we would see by applying other products because this is mineral makeup this is light um and it does the job so i'm quite happy with this i don't need to fill in my brows now i have got bushy brows but yes with a glam face i'll do that but not with a quick natural look um i'm gonna apply the lip balm that's the lip balm it's pink um yeah that is what their lip balm looks like. It's in the shade pink. They do have a bunch of shades. So I'm going to apply lip balm, fix my hair, and see how it has all turned out. So that is the finished look. You can even apply eyeliner or mascara. But I don't like putting on too much eye makeup. I mean, just highlighter, lip balm, BB cream, and eyeshadow that's my thing but you can feel free to you know add whatever you want to add um the after the lip balm i just topped it up with this lip gloss um it is in the shade what is it caramel gloss yeah caramel yes yeah so that one i applied feels not that sticky that's the one thing that i like it isn't sticky it's pretty natural and hydrating considering the ingredients they have used and yeah that is the makeup look which i would do on um me when i'm stepping out of the house and said you know day-to-day -day life um it's not even makeup makeup uh, it's just like bb cream sunscreen and that's it so very natural um uh, good for your skin i don't like putting a lot of makeup every day unless you know you as i said it's an event but i am quite liking this uh, the only thing i would have preferred is with adding sort of mascara because mascara helps to just open up your eyes but even then it's a hassle to take it off at the end of the day and sometimes um it just isn't you know it's smudges and i do have oily face and i also have sometimes dry eyes and i like adding um some eye drops throughout the day when i'm sitting in front of the computer um or using my devices so that's the reason i like and avoid mascara um and when you put mascara on and if you have like 
eyeliner on it starts looking more like makeup makeup but if you want to give like a very natural your skin but beautiful look this is it so hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one in the next video what i'll be doing is from this day look i will be converting it into a night look uh, more glam more fun and yeah so stay tuned for the day to night look and make sure you also hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up and if you have been with me for a long time thank you so much for watching and supporting and for all those who are new to the channel thank you so much for stopping by and i would love to have you here in this family so thank you again for watching this and stay tuned for the next one um, and take care stay safe peace